Hey guys, it's Mousy, and welcome to the next episode of Mousy's World. Uh, you guys are gonna enjoy it. Uh, this week, adding to the pumpkin patch is Body Jara. I hope I pronounced that correctly from Twitter. They have been drawing these wonderful pictures for me all week long, and here's just one of them. Uh, if you want to see all the others, be sure to go check them out on Twitter. Um, they're absolutely amazing. But yeah, thank you guys for coming to the next episode, and I hope you enjoy. Bye! The day of the wizard's magic test. Everything was going fantastic. But then, everything went wrong. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my! Red? You won't get away with this, Red! I will stop you! I feel... Oh. <laughs> Mousy! No! Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Where am I? Is anyone out there? I'm not feeling too good still. Hello? S sir, can you, can you help me? I, I, I'm not supposed to be here. I, I gotta get home. What happened? Red, I... You aren't making sense. What about Red? Was he here? Yes! Oh, what happened to your voice? What's going on? M magic sometimes changes my voice when something dramatic happens. I've never been able to control it. That's not the issue right now. Red sent Mousy somewhere. Tell me everything right now. I'm locked in. Where am I? Um. Hey, wait, quiet wait, wait. down. Hey, what's going on? Why am I in here? You've been jailed. What are you, blind? No, I'm not blind. What's going on? Why am I in here? Hello? Hey, there must be some kind of mistake! Hey! Let me out of here! What is going on? What is this place? Why am I here? I don't really want to know where that goes, to be honest. Oh my gosh, some kind of... What is this place? Oh my gosh. And you just stood there? Uh, you, you're a powerful wizard and you just stood there. I couldn't. Couldn't do what? Hurt him. Why not? He's evil. He took her. He wasn't always evil. He was like... Like what? My son. He wasn't always evil. Or... At least he didn't show it. When the Red Kingdom mysteriously fell and disappeared, everyone thought no one survived. We couldn't find anyone. The whole kingdom, just gone. Time passed and we did regular trips into the area, searching for anything. We searched far and wide for any information. We found nothing. Everyone else just thought they were dead and gave up. But you didn't. I had hope. I kept searching. 
I found it hard to believe there wasn't any clue as to what happened to an entire kingdom. One day I went looking and there he was. He was distraught and delusional. When I found him he was walking in circles, saying red over and over, as well as other strange things. I got the feeling he was looking for something. He seemed traumatized. He wouldn't tell me his name and I got the feeling he couldn't remember anything. So I took him home and nursed him back to health. And I nicknamed him Red. For the first time in a long time, I wasn't alone in that tower. I had never had children myself. All I had over the years were my magic and books. It was like a new light had entered my world. I took care of him as if he was my own son. You have to understand he wasn't always evil. I taught him magic and many other things. Everything seemed fine. What happened? Well, he started to become unsettled, asking about artifacts, library that I'd never heard of myself, dark magic. He started to become obsessed with the color red, started to turn everything red. Then one day he was gone, and he took some of my powerful wands and books with him. Why didn't you tell anyone? I was afraid people would come poking around and disturb him. What do you mean? So many people were afraid their kingdoms would poof and disappear. They want answers, and I have a feeling there were some willing to go to extreme lengths to find out the truth. I don't know if he was responsible or connected to the disappearance. I had tried to ask him many times, and I got the feeling that he had been asked those questions before. I'm still not sure what happened to him between the Red Kingdom's disappearance and when I found him. So then, why did he freeze you? He came to me asking for my help. He wanted me to join him. He was making no sense at all, and after what I heard some of the things he had done, I refused. He took it pretty hard and froze me right then and there. I don't know what happened to him, but you have to understand, he wasn't always evil. Wow. I'm really sorry, Professor. Yes, well, the past is the past. I can't change that now. So then, what do we do now? How do we find Mousy? Oh, he could have sent her anywhere. Wake up and eat. You'll need the strength for the trial. Wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 come back. Trial? What do you mean, trial? Why am I going on trial? This is a mistake. You've been charged for being an accomplice to villainy. Villainy? No, 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 this is a mistake. This is, oh my gosh, this is, you don't understand. I, I'm trying to stop villainy. I, I, I try to bring peace to the world, and I do good things, and I eat pumpkin pie, and I like dragons, and I live in a, in a very uh, medieval castle somewhere in this world, and I, I'm not a villain. I'm not a villain. Okay, I, I didn't accomplish any villainy. I pr I, I swear. I, I was trying. I was I was in the, I was in the middle of a magic test, and and then I and then Red showed up, and I was fighting him. And you, you gotta believe me. Ha! <laughs> Likely story from the accomplice of Red. This isn't gonna be good. Oh no no. This is I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna be on trial for my birthday, guys. Thanks for joining me. Wherever I am. I'll see you next week.